This is a great question, one that I've gone back and forth on on a lot over the last few years that I've been an Etsy seller. If you've been with me for any length of time, you know that I like to use Etsy Hunt as my Chrome extension, and I also use Marmalade when I take a deep dive into keywords. But I also want to talk about E-Rank. When I'm doing my broad research, here's how I like to use it. Let's say I know I want to make teacher shirts, but I don't necessarily know which categories or sub-niches are going to be successful. When I do a keyword search in E-Rank, I get lots of really helpful visual data, and I'm a very visual person, so this is my personal style and how I like to look at this information. You can see here that as a broad category, it then gives me lots of sub-niches that I can then see the type of volume of searches that there are, what kind of competition there is. What I'm ideally looking for are keywords that have really good search volume, and have lower competition. I'm also able to see search trend timelines for each keyword phrase. This is a great way to see when products and keywords are trending throughout the year. With this type of visual, it's easy to see because green is good, yellow and orange are medium, and red is going to be not great. So for this example, I can see that certain teacher shirts, again, thinking about sub niches, so reading teachers, math teachers, pre-K, special education, much better alternative. Then I take that knowledge and head over to Etsy. Again, I use an Etsy Hunt Chrome extension so that I can see what type of volume each of these listings are getting. This gives me a better idea if something is selling and trending or not, especially if it's something that's more recently listed. I then click into that listing so that I can start to generate some ideas for potential keywords for my titles, my tags, my descriptions. My goal is not to copy the design of this listing. It's really about generating search terms and good keywords that will help my own ideas and listings to generate traffic to my product listings. How do I get an idea of these keywords are going to be decent performers? Well, I also have this tag extractor Chrome extension. It's another Etsy hunt extension. And when I click on it, it pulls data on those keyword tags that are used. Again, at a glance, I can see search data, competition data, sales data, and it's also got Google Trends in there. I think this is an important topic that not a lot of people talk about when it comes to Etsy and SEO optimization, because Etsy is not the only party using that information. Google is using that information in their search algorithm as well. So it's important to see what type of searches are trending with Google as it relates to your keywords. Then from there, if I want to, I can actually extract those keywords. It'll dump them into a spreadsheet for me so I can see it quickly at a glance and I can start piecing together titles and long tail keywords for descriptions for the listing itself. Keyword research and product research when done right does take time. Keep pushing, keep optimizing, and you'll get there.